Okay? So, in the first video, okay, napag-usapan natin kung paano uh, na-derive natin yung uh, slope formula at saka yung deflection formula. Okay? So, ito yung slope formula at ito yung deflection formula from this uh, basic um uh, a basic uh, property, okay, in which d squared y over dx squared is equal to m the moment over ei, okay, so nilagyan ko lang ng x, if you remember nilagyan ko siya ng x to denote that this moment might not be consist constant throughout the beam, kaya nilagay ko as m of x okay so these three formulas is all you need to a memorize. But somehow, a uh, meron tayong boundary conditions, okay? So meron tayong kailangan tandaan, pangtandaan upang ma-solve natin any problem in double integration method other than memorizing these three formulas, okay? So ito yung gagawin natin. Okay? So speaking of boundary conditions, So, we will use another board. Okay, so maybe, maybe this. <clears throat> so, I hope. Okay. So, so, so pan, bakit natin kailangan ng boundary conditions? Okay. So, in order to solve, a, the deflections and slopes of beams unang una kailangan nating ma-identify itong si itong mga constants na to okay so if you remember from uh, from d squared y over dx squared is equal to mx m of x over ei in integrate natin naging slope at in integrate natin yung formula ni slope naging deflection so we know that in integration is nag uh, after the integration is nag-i-introduce tayo ng constant. At dahil dalawang beses tayong nag-integrate kasi double integration method na dalawang constant yung na ano natin na derive natin. Itong C1 at saka C2. So these boundary conditions um, could be could help solve the problem. Okay. So eto so, first, yung una nating problem is itong kay C1. Okay? So, ano ba ang boundary conditions natin? Na, nasa ganun is, masolve natin si C1 at saka si C2. Okay? Okay? So, we need boundary conditions. Okay? So, at supports okay technically speaking at supports lagi nyong tandaan na um, okay y is equal to 0 okay okay at any supports at supports, okay? So, whether yung uh, whether pin siya whether pin okay? So, whether pin siya uh, fixed o di kaya rule okay? Fixed o tsaka ruler okay? So, please take note na yung ruler dapat natin is horizontal yung movement niya. Okay? So, pag yung ruler is pag ganito, so therefore may value ito. Okay? So, at supports, pag ganito yung forma ng supports, pin, fixed, or ruler, na ganito yung forma ng ruler, at supports, y is equal to 0. So, therefore, itong boundary condition natin is masatisfy natin. Okay? So, okay. So, yan. Yan yung tandaan natin at supports y equal 0. Okay. So, okay. So, meron, but there is an exemption. Okay. So, except, okay. Except, um, there is, 
¿okay? Settlement. Okay? So, kapag may settlement, itong y mo, hindi na sa zero. So, meron siyang uh, value na hindi non-zero. Kaya, at supports, y equals zero, except there is settlement. Okay? So, maraming libro na hindi ito nadi-discuss. O, hindi hayag na sinasabi na may exemption tong rule na to, na at supports y equals zero. Okay? So, and then, meron tayong pangalawang condition. Okay? So, okay. So, eto, okay? So, at fixed support, Okay. At fixed support, dy over dx is equal to 0. Okay. So, please remember na ganun na yung sitwasyon. Okay. So, kapag fixed support siya, okay, dito ko na lang ilagay. Theoretically, yung slope dyan, Yung theta dyan is 0. So, yan. At peak support, theta is 0. So, yan yun. Yan yung isa mong uh, kailangan yung tandaan. At peak support, dy dx equals to 0. Okay. And then, meron pa. At pin support, Kapag pinned support naman tayo, pinned support or pwede rin to sa ruler. So, pinned or ruler support, okay? So, it's either pinned or ruler support. Um, meron pang isang zero, okay? So, we need to... Uh, We need to remember that dy over dx here is not 0 anymore. Okay? So, in contrast to fixed support, at pinned and ruler support, dy over dx is not 0 anymore. Ibig sabihin, kapag pinned siya, o di kaya ruler, may value na yung theta niya. May value na yung theta niya. Okay? So, maybe this is, this is not supposed to be a part of the boundary condition pero kailang, uh, I, I just want to emphasize na yung fixed support lang ang, ang may slope na zero okay and then meron pa at pin support or ruler support okay please take note that okay your moment is equal to zero okay so lagi yung tandaan na at pin and ruler support okay your m should be equal to zero okay at exterior sides okay so may I uh, correct myself okay so so, another boundary condition natin dyan is ganito. Okay, so, maybe ito, tandaan nyo, then pin, okay, so sulat natin, pin uh, ruler support. So, lagi yung tandaan yan. So, kapag nasa exterior side siya, okay. so, Ano tong exterior side na to? Okay, so maybe ipat natin dito. So, maybe dito na lang natin pagpatuloy yung boundary conditions.
Okay, so sorry. Okay, so kopyahin natin boundary conditions. Okay, at supports. y is equal to 0. Okay? So, deflection at that point is equal to 0. Except settlement is present. Okay? So, at fixed support, Lagi niyong tandaan dyan, dy over dx is equal to 0, which means slope is equal to 0. Okay. So, again, for pinned and ruler support, okay, so mas malaki yung space dito, kaya ilipat ko na lang yung uh, discussion dito. Okay. Pin or ruler support, Lagi niyong tantandaan. Okay? Kapag nasa exterior side siya, exterior. Okay? So, exterior side siya. For example, uh, meron kang continuous. Okay? So, maybe dito ko na lang i-drawing. Okay? Dito ko na lang i-drawing. Okay, since nilipat ko na lang yung sinulat ko dito. Ah, yung sinulat ko kanina dito, nilipat ko dun. Okay, so, at pinned and ruler support sa exterior side. So, let us draw an example. Okay. So, kapag nasa exterior side siya, okay, so, sabihin natin, ito yung deflection natin. Ito, ito yung uh, shape ng deflection natin. Taka, ito yung supports. So, kapag nasa exterior side siya, automatically, okay, sa so exterior side sa hindi ito yung exterior. So, dito na side, yung moment natin is, is equal to zero. Okay. Moment natin dito is equal to zero because logically, yung pin at ruler support, they are not able to support uh, any moment. Okay? Maliban na lang kung nasa gitna siya. If nasa gitna siya, kasi for a continuous beam, okay, so this is good for a continuous beam. So, if in the continuous beam, uh, whether or not, anong uri ng support yung nandito, kapag continuous siya, uh, your moment is, is, is equal, is not equal to zero sa exterior side lang. Okay? So, pin and ruler support. Okay? So, exterior side. So, your So, your moment is equal to zero. So, therefore, kapag nasa exterior side, ah, okay? So, nasa, ah, kapag nasa exterior side siya, so, M is equal to zero. Okay? So, yan yung mga kailangan yung tandaan na boundary conditions. Okay? So, at supports, yung deflection is, or yung y natin is equal to zero. Yung fixed, at fixed supports, okay, kapag may fixed support, yung dy over dx mo is equal to zero. Okay? Kapag pin o ruler siya, tapos nasa exterior side siya, yung moment mo naman ang equal to zero at that point. Okay? So, I hope it is clear. So, in the next set of videos, uh, mag, mag -pre present tayo o magsasolve tayo ng mga examples. Nasa ganun is mas maintindihan natin yung mga diniscuss natin ngayon.